So I'm on the train on the way up here. And I've heard the most useless security announcement I've ever heard in my life. Have you seen this nonsense? See it say, it's, if you see something unusual on the train, like a member of staff, <laughs> a ticket office that may be manned, an announcement board that is actually accurate, tell us and we'll sort it. What are you talking about? That announcement should be, sorry, delayed, cancelled. Because that's what happens an awful lot of time. I arrive at train stations and I'm sick and tired of being greeted with those apologies they always make these days for delays and cancellations. Because I don't know about you guys, but to me, they never really sound like that sorry, do they? They always sound a bit smug, those announcements. They always sound a bit to me like, bing bong, lazy gentlemen, I don't really want to apologise. <laughs> but here are the words anyway. That's not being sorry, is it? You try apologising to your girlfriend like that and see how far you get. <laughs> she comes screaming into the kitchen, where the hell's my Mars bar? Well, your boyfriend would like to apologise <laughs> for the disappearance of the Mars bar in the fridge in the kitchen. <laughs> this was due to me being stoned out of my head <laughs> and too lazy to make a sandwich. There will be a Mars bar replacement service in about 45 minutes' time. <laughs> so very, very lucky to be alive at the moment. So, yeah, honestly, I can actually hear some people going, this is all very funny, all this dark, twisted st stuff, Shawnee, but uh, do you have a hobby? Yes, I do. My hobby is bringing up British gas to complain about the size of my bill. Because if there's something we can all unify on in this room, it's that we all hate the utility bill companies, do we not? What a bunch of charlatans. I particularly hate the estimated bill. What are you talking about? Here's how much gas we think you're going to use. What are you talking about? You don't get that from anyone else. Tesco's never ring you up and go, here's how much celery we think you're going to chew. Even drug dealers have never stooped that low. <laughs> Here's how much gear we think you're going to smoke. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not. Yeah, but we think you are. So you better pay up, sunshine. We'll come round here with a chisel. <laughs> when I ring up British Gas to complain about the size of my bill, I don't argue, I don't negotiate. I just swear at them full blast for about half an hour. <laughs> They're always sitting there going, who is this? You fucking know who it is. You lying, cheating, underhand motherfuckers. <laughs> Gotta be honest, guys, ever since I've been doing that, not once have I ever had a reduction in my bill. <laughs> but I get quite a satisfaction from knowing I'll never be able to use the recording of that telephone call <laughs> for training purposes. <laughs> <laughs>